Hi, it's Nicole Cooper, your Austin area specialist for real estate, and we're back for another installment of the market movement during the pandemic COVID-19. Today is August 3rd, and what we're doing today is comparing where our sales have bounced th these months of 2020 compared to the same months of 20 2019, just to put things in perspective. We were off to a good start the first three months of the year, having higher sales each month. Um, January with 2% more, February 6% more, and March still had 2% more than last year, even though we were starting to feel a little bit of the effects of the pandemic. April is when it really hit, and that is because uh, the properties that would go under contract in March would actually close in April, and March is when the lockdown started, so that kind of makes sense. So in April, the number of sales was down 29% compared to 2019. May, we were down 27% compared to 2019. June, we're starting to get back a little bit more to normal. We were only 3% down compared to June of 2019. And then July, we came roaring back with 9% more than the same time last year in July. So we are starting to see some ground made up for the time that basically real estate stopped for, for a minute. Um, people are still out there trying to find a home. There is still a lot of uh, fright in the market in the sense that the sellers probably don't want people coming into their home if they have to be in the home as well. Uh, there is a little bit of danger factor there. So we're still seeing a shortage of inventory. Um, what, I would, what I'm curious to find out, normally in August, the market really starts to slow down. I think it just gets too hot. Or another reason might be just because the families with children like to be already settled in their home for the school year so they can get them in the right school district and signed up and ready to go. Um, but generally, the temperature, when you start to feel it getting super, super hot, that's when we start to see things slow down for the summer. We'll really start to see sales tail off in September in a normal year. I don't know that we're going to see that this year because these three months were pushed out. So I think we're going to see sales extend a little bit longer into the year than we normally would see that September slowdown. We usually pick up a little bit in October and then we completely die down uh, during November and Thanksgiving and then have a final year end push for people trying to close homes by the end of the year or move during the school break as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out this year since we got the spring season somewhat removed from us completely. If you'd like to know what's going on in your neighborhood or want to know how it might affect you, the, the numbers and the rates and the increases and decreases, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. You just need to let me know. And until next time, friends, stay safe out there. I'm Nicole Cooper, your Austin area specialist for real estate.